this morning. My, uh, my goal this morning is to take you through some of the big policy announcements and shifts that have come across in the recent weeks and we might expect uh, in the future. Um, I will dwell probably quite significantly on Ofsted uh, and also on assessments as well, for which we have many changes uh, coming to, to face us. Uh, indeed, I was speaking to a, a civil servant uh, a couple of weeks ago who confidently asserted uh, that the system will have settled down and everything will be stable by 2023. Um, so, um, uh, looking across, you'll all still be working at that, uh, at that point in time, so you'll have to deal with the consequences uh, of this. So, uh, we shall explore some of the turbulent changes that we've, we've got ahead of us um, as a result of Michael Gove's legacy. Um, now, that can be quite depressing, um, thinking about that sort of stuff. Um, so I'd also like to spend some time talking about what we as a profession can do to make sure that we don't get done to, um, because we've had a lot of being done to over the last four years or, or so, uh, and I'd like to explore how we can stop that from happening in the future. I'm not sure we can eliminate it entirely, but I think we can substantially reduce the volume of political interference that we have to face. Um, but that does involve us stepping up as a profession and asserting our professionalism. Uh, and I'd like to look a little bit about what that means. Uh, if we've got some time, uh, then we can, we can do some questions and stuff and see if we pick up any topics uh, that I've not been able to cover. Uh, now, this is the, uh, the first term without Michael Gove in a very uh, long period of time. I don't know if it feels any better uh, or not. Um, I suspect you haven't had time to think about whether it feels better, um, to be honest, because he's left you quite a bit to do uh, in the meantime to be going on with. Uh, Nicky Gove, uh, Nicky Gove? Um, <laughs> Um, that says a lot, doesn't it, um, on that one. Nikki Morgan is our new Secretary of State for Education. Uh, she's been in front of the Education Select Committee on the television a, a few times in recent days. Um, she was particularly being grilled um, over Academy Chains uh, yesterday, uh, I believe, or the day before, where she was uh, trying to defend why they won't inspect Academy Chains uh, as an entity, which I think is quite an interesting question, when they can inspect local authorities as an entity, uh, but they can't do the same for the chains uh, to look at the quality of service. Uh, but she was deliberately brought in, um, I believe, to, to create a tone of reconciliation, um, to try and settle things down, um, uh, and we may be wondering why they are interested in building bridges with over one million voters who work in education uh, in, the next, uh, in the next seven months. I think they've realized that there might be some bridges to build on, uh, on that regard. Um, one of the big areas that they've focused on, and I don't know if you saw this, um, I think, earlier in the week, the workload, um, that's going to be where, where they um, engage with. Nick Clegg has set up the uh, workload challenge. Um, you've got the opportunity to go online and fill in some forms. Uh, about your workload, which is ironic uh, in its own right, I suspect. It's a bit like the subcommittee for the reduction of bureaucracy, uh, which was a real entity uh, in the Department for Education for quite a while. Um, but a uh, workload they've, they've started to notice as a, as a significant issue, and they're looking for ideas around how workload could be reduced. I, I wonder how many of the suggestions they get will be palatable um, to them as a result of that. And I also wonder um, how many will feature Ofsted uh, as part of that feature in terms of creating. Creating workload.